What's going on everyone and welcome to this short little video on how to update your DJI Mavic Air and the controller. So without further ado, let's get into this. If you're new to the Mavic Air, you're going to need to read the terms and conditions to activate it. Choose a name for your aircraft and once you're done, click continue. And you'll be greeted by the DJI knowledge test which you must pass in order to activate all of the features and functionalities of your drone. Once you're done, the aircraft's going to need a reset. So we'll go ahead and restart that. And once it's done, it'll be successfully activated. Upon clicking next, you'll be brought to this other page, which in the overall status, you'll notice this little red triangle that wants you to go to the DJI homepage to update the firmware of the aircraft. So first things first, you want to make sure that your aircraft's battery is above 50%. So is your controllers. I usually like to make sure both of them are fully charged before I do this. So we'll click on the DJI logo to bring us to the home screen and you'll notice this little orange bar that gives us the firmware version and uh, once you tap on it you'll notice the update log which I highly recommend you look through so that way you know exactly what is being done to your drone. So we'll go ahead and uh, click download now. We're on our Wi-Fi so it's recommended that you do this on a Wi-Fi it'll be faster and uh, some updates might be um, faster than others depending on the size of the file. but. During the update, you might notice some lights changing and flashing. This is all normal and part of the process. Once it's done, you'll get an update complete message. Go ahead and tap on OK. And you'll notice this green status bar where the orange status bar was before, which means to now that the update is complete, go ahead and restart your aircraft. I'll power this down and power down the controller. Now as an extra step, what I like to do is go ahead and force click out of the app and uh, restart it. Now with the app already running, we're going to power on the controller and it's going to go through the process of rechecking the firmware and we will go ahead and power on the aircraft and everything should check out perfectly fine and we shouldn't get an orange status bar. After entering into the aircraft, you'll notice that we do not get the red triangle anymore and that everything is clear. We are ready to fly. Now when it comes to upgrading the controller, it's the same step as the aircraft. You'll get an orange bar on the home screen uh, letting you know that your controller has an upgrade. So we'll go ahead and tap on the orange bar and click download now. Now that little message was that we're downloading on cellular data which is fine and it'll go ahead and begin downloading the firmware and transfer it over to the controller. Once it's done, you'll get the update complete and you'll notice the green status bar that says update is complete. So we're going to go ahead and power down the controller. And again, I'm going to force quit the app and give that a restart also. Not required, but that's something that I like to do to make sure everything is perfectly fine. Once you're done with the app running, turn on the controller and it's going to go through all of its checks to make sure everything is up to date before you fly. We're going to go ahead and power on the aircraft also to make sure there's no other messages required. But once it's done checking, everything should be ready to go and you are ready to fly. If you guys have enjoyed this short quick little tutorial on how to upgrade your Mavic Air and controller firmware, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If there's anything in particular you guys want to see about the Mavic Air, then put it in the comment section below and we'll try to make that happen for you guys. This is Jeezytronics and we'll catch you guys in the next one.